Alright, this is a quick look at the Amazon Basics wireless remote control for Nikon cameras. And um, I'm using this on my Nikon D750, but you know, various Nikon cameras, uh, I believe even some of the point and shoot cameras, maybe the P7000 series, um, but certainly some of the larger cameras like the D750, D600, D610, and, and various other um, smaller DSLRs. Uh, this is just a little wireless remote. Um, I believe it's an infrared um, infrared signal that's sent to the camera. Um, basically, it's just a one button press to activate it, and uh, you get the little this little felt holder with it, and uh, it's got the little you know drawstring on there with a lock on it. You know, to cinch that up, and so it won't come out. Uh, I had the Nikon version of this. The Nikon version is the MLL3, and um, this one I like it a little bit better actually because it's uh, this button here is rubberized, so it's a little little easier to feel where you are with it and press that. And uh, otherwise, it, it operates just the same as the Nikon MLL3. Uh, the range is about 16 feet or so and also comes with a little set of instructions which you really wouldn't need because it just gives you really generic uh, directions on how to make you know enable this on your camera and there's only a partial list of the cameras it works with so obviously this works with uh, other cameras than what's listed on here so if you're actually not familiar with how to use it I'll just bring my D750 over here and uh, let me get into the menu. I gotta turn on this one. It's a strange thing about this, you maybe it's because it's drawing power the whole time you have it on, and it's looking for a signal, and you don't want somebody to accidentally fire it. Uh, it's always off unless you specifically turn it on, and then when you uh, turn off your camera, it'll go back off. So there's three different options on the D750, and I don't, I don't know if these are the same as all Nikon DSLRs that have the option of using the MLL3, uh, but you have a two second delay remote so basically when you press the button um, we'll turn it on and uh, so basically you press the button and it's going to be a two second delay and uh, so basically you press the button on the remote two second delay what it does it focuses waits two seconds to take a picture uh, the other options are quick response remote which basically just fires it right away so again it's going to when you press the button here on the remote It'll, it'll focus and take a picture right away. And lastly, the um, remote mirror up. And what that's going to do is the first press of the remote, it'll lock the, um, I think it's focusing first, locks the mirror up, and then the second press will take the picture. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, so, I tried it, you know, to check the distance, and it is somewhere around 16 feet or so. Um, the D750 actually, if you look at the back of the camera, it's kind of hard to see. I don't know if, if you can see that in. Yeah, there it is down there. There's the receiver on the back. That's the little, the right, um, the little right LED for the memory cards. So turn it on, you see it writing or accessing the memory card. Um, this is the receiver on the back of the camera and I think not all the Nikon cameras have one on the front and back uh, obviously the one on the front is most useful and uh, this one is right up here right there so it's nice that the D750 actually has two of them one on the front and the back so if you're just using it you know you're behind the camera using it uh, as a you know way to not have to touch the camera you don't want to create any vibrations uh, when you're doing something that you know the uh, any vibration would be throwing off the sharpness of your picture so anyway that's it um, again this is the Amazon Basics wireless remote control which is basically a, a clone of the MLL3 Nikon uh, whack my thumb there just in case you're wondering it's gonna take a couple weeks for it to finally grow out like a little blood blister or whatever underneath the thumbnail information you didn't need but uh, anyway so this is oh it's about what nine dollars on Amazon versus you know the eighteen nineteen dollars for the official Nikon version 
you know, it's not an expensive thing anyway, that, you know, if you're buying it from, you know, the Nikon version. But, uh, I mean, $9, it's probably about half the price and really does the same thing. And I like the little rubbery button here better than the Nikon version. It takes a little, uh, the battery access is right here. There's a little, uh, one of those little, like, large watch battery type of batteries. Um, CR20, I don't know the exact model of the battery. And it's not super easy to get out, so I'm not going to take it out right now. But so that's about it. Actually, I will take it out. Here we go. Get out of there. Oh, CR2025, little three volt button battery. So that's it.